This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from Eternatus, Zation, League Battle Decks, you name it. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. And you can uh, sell cards as well as buy cards from people all across Europe. And it's very easy to use. So definitely uh, check the website out by using the affiliated link in the description below. You're going to be helping me out a ton. What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with none other than Behem. This is a deck that actually did quite well at the World Championships during day one of the competition, during the era of 2019. Who remembers the days, right? Check out my vlog if you are to see that, experience that moment again. So, Behem, Mysterious Noise, 90 damage, and then we put the opponent in an item lock, and Behem and all cards attached to it go back to the deck. So, very interesting indeed. We're going to be resorting to a couple of wall Pokemon in the form of Altaria which is not able to get damaged by V Pokemon and GXs. We have an Alolan Persian in here, a 2-1 line. This is not able to get attacked by Tag Team Pokemon, Ultra Beast and Pokemon with Special Energy. So automatic answer against Mad Party. <laughs> if you get this out against Mad Party, you win. If you get this up against Blastophalon, they're going to have a hard time for sure. Other than that, we also have a lot of a lot of Lily's Poké Dolls, which you can hide behind. And you can try to loop this Mysterious Noise time and time again. You can draw uh, cards with Zation if you are not able to attack while you're hiding behind a doll. Or you can get, draw cards if somebody got knocked out using Orochorio Dance of the Tribute. With the huge amount of capture energy in here, you can find everything you might need in the early phase of the game. And of course, sometimes that can be your game-winning scenario where you can uh, be able to attack with a little Persian here. So, very interesting. Uh, I created this list from scratch. So hopefully you guys will have a lot of fun. If you're enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. So let's try this list out. As you can see, it also is relying on the uh, Jirachi from uh, Vivid Voltage, so amazing rare Jirachi. And let's see if it's going to be consistent or not. Okay, coin flips. Let's see here. Uh, cool looking Steelix coin, by the way. Okay, this list always wants to go first. And the reason for that is that you have capture energies and you have the Jirachi. So in this scenario, we just have a great way to go about it. We can use the U-turn board, go to Jirachi, or it all depends on the matchup, to be honest. Ooh, Greedent. Interesting. So who is the better hit and run Pokemon? <laughs> okay. We'll see. We can put the opponent in an item lock though, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We are gonna put... Yeah, we do have an amazing rare Jirachi on here. Communication as well. Bosses or this even. Don't need to hide behind. I think Altaria is like useless in this matchup. So let's try and est establish these first. Although Alolan Persian, if this is running special energies, I think this could be a very great asset. Although our Alolan Persian GX seems to be prized. So... That's gonna have to wait for now. If Alolan Persian was in here, that could have been our, our victory ticket. But for now, let's just try and go and uh, be the first to strike. That's what we need to do here. Probably not gonna get an attack off just yet. We can use communication, go for uh, Behem, then U-turn board on here. Eh, seems to be okay to me. For, for sure. Probably not gonna be marting us, right? On the first turn, don't think so. Could have used communication to find Zacian to go for Intrepid Sword, but I don't want to get a V Pokemon in play in this matchup at all. Because this is going to be hit and run, right? Hit and run. Also, that uh, Galissapod strikes more damage depending on how. <laughs> okay, we need to slap down uh, this two dolls already. That's pretty badass because with Item Lock, it's pretty crazy for sure. This is Cursala. Hit and run Cursala. We'll see if he gets out Zacian or not. Scovit. Here he goes, it's Covert. Interesting. Attachment already, Marnie. We need to take some prize cards so we can establish the Persian. That's what we need to do. Triple is already energy and nothing else to work with. So even if we would have gotten out Zation, it would have not helped at all. Another Scovit. Still stuck with his Wimpot though. All right. This one is so fun if we are able to get stuff from the prize cards. Capture energy, 
can go for Jirachi, finding cards or a Zacian. And all the, he only has three cards in hand, right? So let's take this one. Entropitard, come on. We have a couple of things to work with. We have a Marnie. Hopefully he will not have like attachment on Galissapod. Otherwise our Elgin will not be in a good situation. Research, getting rid of two triple salivate energy is pretty huge though. If only we will be able to take like a low Persian from the prize cards. Okay, there's Galissapod. Does he have another energy? Great ball again. Cursala. Interesting. Evolving. Probably evolving the Wimpod as well. Although if he evolves the Wimpod, he will get a huge retreat cost. We'll see what he does. Don't need to overbench too many Pokemon. We could slam down Alola Meowth and wait if we get stuff on the prize cards. Okay, he's just passing that, that's fine. U-turn board. This is a nice approach if we take some stuff from the prize cards. That is only an if, a very vague if, I know. Quick ball, get rid of this. Mew protecting, uh, I don't know. Jirachi, getting stuff. Don't know if he's running a lot of bosses orders though. U-turn board here. And a Marnie play. Marnie to a low hand size. Okay. This is getting interesting. We don't have a doll just yet, but it's fine. I'm gonna use communication, getting himself in an item lock and go from there. Be him in the house. Triple accelerator energy over here, and uh, mysterious noise, slapping damage and item locking at the same time. Yeah, we do have a Marty in hand, so I'm promoting this Jirachi. If he knocks it out, it's fine. We do have a grass resistance, so he is going to slap 80 damage, which means we survive the hit. That's pretty nice, though. Item lock is not going. If he could attach and retreat, he could do that. Research. He already wasted two triple accelerate energies. <laughs> if only we get some stuff on the prize card, that means we can actually establish an Alolan Persian. That means nobody's gonna be able to touch us with the Alolan Persian because these are all special energies. Attack us, come, do it. Don't forget about the resistance. Oh, he's just retreating. Same story, he gets rid of an energy. Smack and run. Gets a prize card though. And this one. Ooh, triple salary energy right now is not good. Marnie. Ta-ta! We have an Oracorio. That is actually going to establish ourselves with more stuff that we don't need. Ordinary Rot. Also don't need that. Dance of the Tributes. We need to establish ourselves some Lily Spooky Dolls. For sure. You may discard it. stuff. This is not what we need. Behem, Air Balloon, could come down to this one. There's a Aurora Energy. We'll get rid of this. And uh, we will retreat to the Zacian with that he's not able to KO. So Intrepid Sword, getting some stuff. Next turn we go back with Item Locking. So this is who is the best hit and run deck, right? That's what it's all about. Great ball. I wonder what he's gonna be able to get here. <laughs> Glaring Curse Alive, if we knock that out, we get knocked out as well. But we go back to the deck, so I wonder how that will interact. Very interesting for sure. Definitely wanna find that out. There's a triple accelerate energy, so he can attack, but he's gonna have to give up an energy. Also, this guy can get rid of energies here if we have a little bit of luck with coin flips. There's a little spooky doll going back on the bottom of the deck. Greedent in the house. Oh, Wonder is a Labyrinth. That's pretty funky. Wonder is Labyrinth. That means at one point he also will not be able to attack. Interesting. But we do need to take some prize cards though. Yeah, we can use communication. Another Algem Mew can spread damage. And the 
Mew is pretty nice. We also have bosses orders. Research. Communication. Getting another one. Behem number two. And we do have bosses orders, which I actually want to keep. So I'm actually going to just resort to Intrepid Sword. I don't, yeah, he doesn't have another attack already. He could attack with uh, the Galissapod though, which is pretty scary. Maybe we retreat to Rapid Sword, need to find stuff. We do have another boss. We do not. We do not have another boss. We could Bird Keeper though. Bird Keeper. Air Balloons. Okay, there's a Triple Accelerator Energy for next turn. Needs to hang on to that Alolan Meowth for sure. We do have an air balloon as well, so do we give him this one? Air balloon here, and let's go. Intrepid sword. We need two attachments right now, thanks to that annoying wondrous labyrinth, but that's good. the same scenario for him. He already wasted two triple accelerator energy, so at one point, he's gonna have it hard as well to attack. A Rangaroo stuff. The Galarian Cursal up pops up. Flip a coin if heads, attacking Pokemon is knocked out. But if we go back to the deck, so. Interesting. Retreat. And we will boss and knock out Scovid. Triple accelerator energy works on that. We slap 90 damage, right? That's pretty nice. Let's take this one. And let's go for the mysterious noise. Chica. We go back to the deck. Hopefully the Persian will pop up here. <laughs> it isn't, it is not popping up. Oh man, maybe we should include a 2-2 line. Whatever's the case. I don't know if he's running a lot of boss. He already wasted one boss. This guy's Wondrous Labyrinth is also gonna bite him as well. Also not having access to item cards is pretty huge though. Could be like a couple of energy sprites, so we'll see what happens. Okay, he does find the triple accelerate energy, is able to strike for 130. Okay, so we use Aurora. I don't want to waste too many energies here, but it's fine. Aurora energy here. We retreat to a doll. Yeah, it's a little bit slower than I would love it to be, but it is what it is. Intrepid Sword. We have communication, so he's gonna have to go down to this doll. Then we attack with Behem once again. It's gonna have to be in two turns. Usually you attack with one turn, but we don't have an answer against Wanderer's Labyrinth. I don't think a lot of top tier decks play Wanderer's Labyrinth in the first place. There's a Scovit again. How many boss that is gonna be determining if he's gonna be taking the upper hand here. Next turn we item lock him again. Pretty nice. Okay, communication, getting this back in deck getting ourselves. yeah we don't need anything to be honest but it is what it is mm, yeah another behem for next turn we already have plenty so let's just go with this discard that one knock out this galissapod triple salary energy over here slapping down another one of the elgins we don't have a doll just yet unfortunately so maybe we're gonna have to give up on mew we do have uh, other stuff which can work, so let's get rid of this. Another one of those. And let's go with the Mysterious Noise again. He's item locked. And we will give him a Mew. A Mew for now. There's a Marty, still no Alolan Persian. That's so sad. Because Alolan Persian also hits weakness against Oracorio, by the way. We are gonna take a prize card this turn, and we're also gonna Marnie him to a low hand size, which is gonna be awesome. Okay, he's gonna Marnie us, fine, either way. Behem's going down to the bottom of the deck. We still need two attachments in the first place, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, we can get it off next turn. Hopefully we will draw into like a capture energy, which would be pretty awesome. He's drawing a lot of cards here. Triple Accelerate Energy, one of his last ones out there. This is the last triple star red energy, so that is going to turn the tie here because we both need to attach twice now. 
Okay, Lotus Pokedoll again. Hopefully we can hide behind a Lotus Pokedoll as well. All right. Interesting. Bird Keeper. We will not be able to switch. He probably will not be able to attack. Although I could be wrong. He could overlap this one. Maybe he's playing Marshadow. Dance of the Tributes first. Drawing lots of cards. Another one of these. So next up. Uh, we don't have... Yeah, we need to find Capture Energy. If we use Capture Energy, we can find ourselves another one. But we need dolls. So we need some dolls over here. Bird Keeper, there's a doll, perfect. Retreat, this is a long game by the way, fella, so hopefully you guys are uh, appreciating the content here. Drop it sword, drawing more cards. We have a Behem. The problem is we need to attach twice. That Wondrous Labyrinth is insane. Maybe we should slap in one Kadex well just to over uh, overcome that issue, or a Marshadow, since we do run communication in here. He needs to attach twice, we need to attach twice. Who's gonna win? Air Balloon coming down to that one. Also, he only has 13 cards left. And this one goes back to the hand? Yeah, it goes back to the hand, not to the deck. In that sense, we will not deck out, and he will at one point. How many Marnies in here? Three Marnies already. Yeah, triple accelerated energies. Yeah, they immediately go back to the hand every time, so... That's his last triple accelerated energy, by the way. Mew. Yeah, we will keep attacking and will not be able to take down the Greedent time and time again. Interesting approach. We slap 20 damage with the Alola Meow. Okay, he bosses the Oracorio, smacks and runs, goes back to the hand. And we still have another boss in the deck, right? We need to just knock out this COVID so things go a little bit slower. Also, the Mew is nice to use side power here. We'll see. That was probably his last boss, which is nice. We have this one. We have this one. We can attack this one, knock him out. Or just wait it out. Capture energy. This one. Communication. 60 damage with Altaria, which can keep doing that time and time again, which is not, not the biggest approach here. We'll see. He's not going to be able to attack this turn, although, yeah, he could evolve and knock something out. That's okay to me. Where's the boss? Yeah, more stuff to work with. Now we can actually spam two Mysterious Noise after each other. And there's the Scovid again, slapping this. We need to find a boss so we can end this loop. Don't know how many he's running of these uh, little... Yeah, they're in the discards, sure. Just need to knock out this one Scovid so he cannot loop them. Okay. Where is our last boss? That's what we need to find. Hopefully it's not prized. Also, if we take a prize card, we can get a Lolan Persian to just wall. If only we are going to be able to get that. Okay, Marnie. That is his last Marnie of the game, though. <laughs> That's all these triple salary energies going back to the bottom of the deck. That's bad. Another Marnie. Okay. Great ball. Yeah, just play a lot of cards, will ya? Quick ball again. This is a crazy game. Okay, Mew can actually use side power to just finish some stuff later. Maybe you can use it now to knock out Lily. Okay. Lady's Pokedell is gone. It's fine. All the triple solar energies are on the bottom of the deck. That is something we know. U-turn board as well. Hmm, interesting. Capture energy. Here, another Elgin. So the deck is shuffled, U-turn board. One of these fellas, Marnie plays. Okay, 
What now? We marry them to a low hand size. Three behemoths are ready to strike. This guy is only slapping. He does have Mew, which can actually take care of this one. So if he slaps like damage right now, probably will not draw into this. Intrepid Sword, okay. We didn't knock anything out. Galera and Curse Law still just hanging around there. We can actually strike with three mysterious noise attacks after each other. <laughs> Two Lily's Pokedolls, that's huge. That is huge. Vitality Band, also huge. Uh, this is also broken. Okay. Doesn't seem to have a lot of things going for him. Mm-hmm. Start striking now. Finishing a job later. Mysterious noise. We can finish it off with Mew, so it could be nice. We're gonna be promoting this one. Yeah, it needs this one triple accelerate energy, which is on the bottom of the deck. So that gives us a little bit of time. Ingo and Emmet. Oh, wow. Pretty broken. Still have a way out to use. Smack and run. Okay. I want to see the interaction between that one. If we knock out the curse a lot with it. Interesting. Evolution incense. Okay, retreat and attack. Mysterious noise. Will we get knocked out? What interaction goes first? We go to the back to the deck, so this doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's pretty funny. Love that part. Come on, a little Persian, where you at? Yes, that's what we needed. Now we are gonna go crazy. Probably doesn't run bosses orders anymore. Only two in there. And we will be immune from damage from this Scovid dude, thanks to Alolan Persian. So this is the longest game ever. Unless he plays another boss, we should be okay. We can also like attack again. Use the Stalking Claws GX, 121 of the opponent's bench Pokemon. And I'm actually gonna knock out a Scovid so he can out loop them. Interesting. So here is the Alolan Persian GX finally appearing. Capture energy in here as well. Retreating. Altaria in the house. Well played. They just can see Alolan Persian, just as I mentioned, if we would have gotten it sooner, we would have went, won already. So we did prove that we have an answer against everything. It was a little bit slow because we needed to grind that off completely. But wow, what an intense game between hit and run Pokemon was that. Okay, this was the most insane match we've had on the channel since ever. Maybe since Player Cup 2. Yeah, Player Cup 2, that one against Luke Metal was the most interesting one from, from the year. Okay, one more game with this crazy build. <laughs> that was crazy, like hit and run. Who was the best? If only we would have gotten out Alolan Persian earlier. Okay, lost the coin flip. Pretty bad because we do need a little bit of time to set up. We have communication, getting our salvization to draw cards. Or we can go for a Vivid Voltage Amazing Rare Jirachi. Depends on what we get. Okay, Zation. If they are not playing Aegislash, we would we would win instantly. 
air balloon, hiding behind the doll, go from there. We have another communication ready. Attachment on the Zation. Six cards in hand, no quick ball. Hello. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Yay. Okay, there's just an intrepid sword. Hopefully no energy attachment, otherwise things could go wrong rapidly. Okay, oof, that's putting up pressure right here. You can attach and boss. Getting the Zation right here does give me a little bit of ease. And getting ourselves another swap blue, just in case. A little spooky doll as well. And we're gonna get an air balloon over here so we can retreat behind it. And also do an intrepid sword, yeah. Okay, next turn, there's an Altaria coming. I don't know if he has an answer for it. Don't even know if it's ADP or Luke Metal. Metal Goggles, Luke Metal. If they're not playing Aegis Lash, they're gonna be punished. Also, Special Energy on here is very good because that means Persian can come out of nowhere. Boss, yeah, that's what I thought. Taking care of one Swablu at a time. We will be able to establish an Altaria though, which he's not going to have an answer for, so it's just safely hide behind the Altaria for now. Okay, communication, getting the Meowth back there. In. There's an Altaria popping up right now. Altaria, we can shuffle the other uh, Swablu back if we want to. Not a little spooky doll. And Intrepid Sword. Okay, I wonder if he has Aegis Slash or not. If he doesn't, he's gonna be in trouble. We have Ordinary Rod and Quick Ball. We can establish another Altaria. Also, Zamazenta is able to discard a lot of things. Yeah, we, we will Marnie him this turn, so it's fine. Okay. Ordinary Rod. Okay, the... Uh, a Lulum Persian is in our list, so that's pretty nice to see. Quick ball, getting rid of this one. Getting ourselves an Elgym. Elgym and Marnie time. We have a good hand, like with the other one, but we need more. Triple accelerator energy, capture energy, that's pretty nice. We can establish ourselves two Elgyms here. Elgym number two. And... Yeah, he probably might, he might Marnia, so we're just gonna go for Intrepid Sword right now. We can poke a little bit with Altaria, or find ourselves a way to switch around our Altaria, and then go for Behem, Mysterious Noise, so he's not able to Saucer. Still don't know if he's playing Aegis Slash, though. We do have good hand. We can go to two Behems. Okay, let us poke it all. Another Intrepid Sword. Okay, there's a boss. Ah, that's bad. He only has access to three boss, so we are good. Attachment onto the Zation, Brave Blade. Interesting choice, but that actually opens the door instantly to this fella. That means we can have... It's Behem time. Behem. Triple Accelerator Energy, Quick Ball, getting rid of this one. Getting an Elder Algem set up. And another Pokemon that we don't need going to the discard pile. Maybe another Altaria. Let's go with research. Whoosh. This is interesting. For sure. Gonna yeah, there's an U-turn board on that one. Might have stuff like tool scrapper, but that doesn't matter at all. So mysterious noise, kachak, damage. And hiding behind Altaria. We are saving the dolls for uh, an approach that an Aegis Slash might pop up. Because right now, yeah, there's not a lot he can do. We are immune from damage. There's an Intrepid Sword, that's, a, that's what I thought. Okay, we have access to Bird Keepers, more dolls. Another U-turn board, interesting. Probably will not need Oracorio, so we will give up on it. Bird Keeper, yeah, I think I will give up on the Oracorio. Don't want another two prizer on my bench. This U-turn board, <laughs> U-turn board on whatever, doesn't matter. Bird Keeper or Research? Research will probably draw us into the resources that we need. That's what I'm talking about. This one, Triple Accelerate Energy, Retreating. And yeah, could have retreated to a doll and set up another one. He could like boss the other one, so it's... Uh, 
Probably a wrong choice here, but it's fine. And he wastes all his boss's orders already. We're gonna do that later. Two boss in this card already, that's pretty huge. He could have Cynthia Callan getting another boss back, so... But that takes a turn, so we are safe for one turn at least. He could also have Mellow Lana. He's also item locked this turn again, so that's good. We need to like put up the pressure here. I wonder why he put four energies on his Zacian. Maybe to physically retreat at one point. Okay, boss? This is his third boss already. Crazy. Well, if that is the case, we just poke a little bit with Altaria. I know it's only going to be 30 damage, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay, here we go. Capture energy, Elgin. Communication. Yeah, it's going to be nasty now because we don't have a lot of things to work with anymore. Okay, Meowth. Yeah, Meowth could actually establish some nasty things later down the line. Money time. Putting him to a low hand size. We have Bird Keeper. Hopefully we will be able to attack with Elgin. We cannot loop them again because there seems to be one Elgin prize, but it is what it is. Poking around with speed dive. Hopefully he will not get himself the uh, Mellow Lana here. Three boss. Like the only thing he played is like three boss. That's that. And also at one point, I think he can attack with Zamazenta to discard all of our special energies. I think he's going to do that right now. Getting rid of Azation. Maybe he can go for yeah, Luke Metal. So we dish out zero damage. So this is going to be another one of those long games. Like for real. Pretty annoying for sure. I wonder how this match will go though. Two cards, Intrepid Sword right now. If we find our... Com okay, he just manually retreats and uh, we have to poke a doll right now. Interesting. Interesting for sure. Okay, let's go. We have an Aurora energy, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna be using Bird Keeper. More stuff to work. A triple salary energy, but no other thing that we need. So I'm actually going to put one Aurora energy on here. Get rid of a Jirachi. Putting this to the bottom of the deck. Getting the U-turn board back. Slapping down Altaria again. And uh, yeah, do we need anything else? Maybe we could set up another Altaria, like the second one. Fine. Also don't need any of these cards. Just going to give a quick ball. Mew. Speed dive. Kachak. The doll is gone. Not coming back ever again. Why are these matches so crazy? Like, this is the in insane. It, it reminds me of a, like Wall Stall. We only have 10 cards left in our deck, by the way. So we have to go in circles with Behem time and time again. Unless he has his uh, attack call. Since your Catelyn gets back his boss and bosses the Elgin, then it's going to be over in no time. Oh, he's going for Mellow Lana first. No boss just yet. Attachment, Alter Creation, Intrepid Sword, okay. Marnie plays. <laughs> this is crazy, man. What can we do? What can we do? Marnie plays, so he doesn't get his boss back. He also will get rid of all of our energies here. Which is pretty terrible for us. Speed dive. No, no energy just yet. We do have a behem as well. Yeah, getting rid of all our energies is not good. We'll see how we go. So this is uh, the slow death here. He's going to use... Full Metal Wall GX at one point. He has more Mellow Lama. <laughs> this is interesting for sure. We only have eight cards in the deck. And if he like knocks out our... Uh, yep. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The Aurora Energy goes down the drain. So our Alolan Persian becomes pretty useless right now. Holy crap. This is not the way I wanted it to go.
Yeah, we will get decked out at one point. Jackal. If he gets the boss back, it's over. Also, we were not able to uh, take any prize cards in this match. So we wall out, but we will deck out thanks to hammers and disruption. Since you're Catlin again. And now the boss comes back. He exactly knows what he's doing here. Attachment there. Okay, no energies in sight. Yeah, he's gonna boss the behemoth and that's gonna be over because that way we're actually gonna deck out. He still needs to retreat him though, so he needs to find a switch as well. Attachment, pass. Triple accelerated energy, retreat, behem time. 10 damage, wow. This will take forever and he has a boss, so he can actually boss the Zacian here. We only, if only we would have gotten two Elgims out and he would have been out of boss and we would have been able to win the game, but it is not the case. There's one Elgin priced, unfortunately. Maybe we ordinary rot a little bit too quickly. Elgin pass. Boss and well, well played. Come on, do it. Retreat and knock him out. Quite the intense games for sure with this list. Hopefully you guys are gonna test this out. This is like the most funky deck ever. Oh, he didn't KO it. Capture energy. Yeah, we do dish out zero damage at one point. Maybe we can lure him out by attaching here. So he maybe is going to like panic and give up. Could be the case. Maybe he wants to like boss, yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Why isn't he bossing the Elgin? Maybe he thinks we have another one ready. <laughs> we got a drop it sword instantly, but it's fine. What is he waiting for? Maybe he wants to scout to see if we have... Maybe he wants to scout to see what we have left to work with. 10 damage. Look at that. <laughs> what is he doing, man? He should already like bosses. I, I wonder what he's waiting... What he's waiting for. Attachment onto the Luke Metal, okay. Come on, boss it already, so you win the game. Why is he da hesitating to bench it? That's what I wanna know, maybe he's overthinking it. Okay, that's just well played, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button, check out my sponsors. <laughs> wow, he was very surprised. He's very surprised. Yeah, that's well played. We have, we don't have another Elgium. That's like, <laughs> so close, but nothing we can do. So check out my sponsors, PokedownStore.com for all your TCG online needs. They have everything up on stock from uh, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, Luke Metal codes, League Battle decks, whatever you want. You can use the coupon code 5% off uh, for like, you can use Zablo's TCG, the coupon code for 5% off. And that's gonna help me out a ton. And also check out the other sponsor if you're a European player, cardmarket.com for all your needs. And uh, you can buy and sell cards from people all across Europe. So definitely check that out as well. Anyhow, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.